All right, this is Andrew Jackson here recording a super tip. Um, this one is about InDesign, but I'm going to start us off in Google Docs. So uh, you guys might have been typing a document up and you want to do bullets. So in most word processors, it's pretty easy. I'm just going to uh, type a bunch of text. And so, you know, it's pretty easy to do, but the problem really comes into play when you have multiple lines. So in, uh, in Google Docs, you can just select it, click bullets up here, and there you go. So this is nice and even right here. Um, your bullets are even, you can adjust it however you want. Uh, go like this and you can adjust it. So it's really easy, Word or Pages, it's pretty much gonna be the same. So I was trying to do the same thing in InDesign. Um, I was, had a, a document here that I was working on and it's, it's a little bit more complicated, but I'm gonna record this tip to show you guys how to do it pretty easily with a paragraph style so that you can apply it a lot of places in your document. So I'm gonna put some more text into our document and you can see I, I already clicked up here on the bullets but uh, if you start off typing and select your text um, if you select all of it and then you go to the paragraph styles over here and if you can't see it uh, we're on the type tool and then the paragraph formatting controls. You click bulleted list and um, there it is, it's pretty easy. So again, this is, this is nice and flush, it's nice and even. You can increase it up here with, uh, with the left indent. You can increase it and then we have to decrease the first line left indent and that'll move the bullet back. So that, it's a little bit more complicated and if we were going to do this on a lot of bullets uh, in our document then it's going to be pretty annoying. So um, the easiest way to do it that I've found is if you start typing text, I'll just get rid of this. So we've got our text here, we're going to make a new style. So go to the paragraph styles here, click new style, and then we're going to jump into that style, call it bulleted list. And there's two different places we can adjust it. Um, one of them is step by step, so it's probably a little bit easier, but the other one we're going to have more control, so I'll show you both ways. So the first is if we go to bullets and numbering. Well, first we can say this is going to be based on our basic paragraph style. Um, and then we go up to bullets and numbering. And you just have to choose this list type to bullets or numbers. Do bullets. And you can see right away it's not lined up here the way we would want it. I mean, maybe this is how we want it where the second line comes back in. But I usually don't like that. So we've got our text after uh, right here. Um, that's going to be a tab. You can change it here, but we'll leave it there. So the first line indent, that's what we were working on earlier. That's, you can see right here, and it's tabbing all the way over here to here. So if I decrease this just a little bit more, it's going to come back to the next tab stop. So I'm going to increase it to there, and then the first line indent, I'm going to decrease. And we just need to bring it back so that the tabs line up in the same spot. So basically the the line is going right here and then back across, back and back across for the bullet. So we're decreasing the first line indent to leave room for that bullet. So there's, there's one way you can do it. If we come back, I'm just exited out of that. You can save that style and then you can apply it anywhere in your document. The other way though, if we go to bullets and numbering, Turn on bullets, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna clear this out so that this is exactly back to what it was. If we go to tabs, and we have these two controls, it's kind of hard to see, 
but we've got these two controls right here in our tab. The bottom one is going to be, if I can uh, select it, no, that's not it. Okay, there you go. So it got the bottom one, and it is going to move the first line. So I'm going to move it all the way out to here. So, or it moves the indent, the left indent. So that is this line right here. Um, and if you click on the top, so you can see I just have the top one selected. We're going to click and move just the top one back. You can see how it did exactly what we wanted. You just have to be careful not to uh, do anything else. If you accidentally put in a tab, you can go ahead and just drag it off and it will it'll get rid of it. So with this way, uh, with tabs, we've got a little bit more control over it. We can, uh, we can move this all and adjust it however we want to. Save it and then um, later in our document, we can uh, once you return off of that line, just go back to your basic paragraph. I'm gonna type a line in between and then so come here and once we start typing you can just uh, select it or just click in that paragraph I hit return right up here apply that paragraph style and it's still on our paragraph style over here so when I keep typing it keeps the same paragraph style so there it is for you how to make a bulleted list in InDesign and paragraph style with a lot of flexibility you've got either the bullets and numbering with left indent and first line indent or you've got the tabs where it's a, a little bit more control more specific control over that there it is a super tip from Andrew Jackson